So newborn babies can hear every sound from every language all the way around the world from the day that they're born. However, by the time they turn one year old, this skill just kind of vanishes. Now, this sounds really wild and crazy and like some kind of voodoo magic, but it's actually not. This is called the perceptual narrowing period. Between eight months and 12 months, babies go through this kind of streamlining of their brain, where they go from hearing all those different sounds in all those different languages to only hearing the ones that are relevant to their own language. Now, you're probably like, okay, cool, but like, why are you telling me this random fact, Kristen? Well, the thing is that we can actually keep baby brains open to these languages and the sounds within them. And it's really important to be able to distinguish between different sounds in different languages because it's what will help us become a fluent speaker of that language. Now, what we can do though, to kind of reduce this uh, closing off of uh, a baby's ability to hear these sounds is that we can actually keep them open. And we can do that by simply exposing the baby to that novel language. So if you have an English baby, but you're like, I'd really love this child to be fluent in Mandarin in their future. The best way to do that is to sit them in front of a native language speaker and let them listen to it between eight and 12 months for about, I don't know, like an hour a week. We have science to back this up that if you show babies this language, it doesn't even have to be the language in their environment, just sit them in front of a native speaker for about an hour a week and it'll work. I promise you that. They'll be able to hear all the sounds in their native language like English, but then they'll also be able to hear all those different sounds in Mandarin as well. And that'll make them a great fluent speaker of it one day in the future.